Right, let's get started, shall we? Let's have a look at the most disgusting foods in the world. Number one, the fried brain sandwich. Traditionally served as sliced calf's brains between two burger buns. This sandwich was quite popular in St. Louis, but is now only served in a few restaurants. There are also a few other places in the US where you can order this dish, such as in Indiana or Ohio. After the outbreak of the mad cow disease in 2004, pig brains were used instead. The cow brains would have to be heated to about 600 degrees Celsius, to kill the proteins that cause the disease. Also, brains from cows over 30 months old at slaughter are no longer permitted in human food in the United States. Nowadays, the sandwich is served along with pickles, onions, ketchup and mustard. Number 2. The Thousand Year Old Egg Also called the Century Egg. They are preserved eggs, but unlike the name suggests, they're not being preserved for a thousand years. The process takes anywhere from a few weeks to a few months and involves soaking the eggs in a special solution. It can be done with chicken, duck or quail eggs. The solution usually consists of clay and salt, but can also include ash and rice hulls. It causes the yolk of the eggs to take on a creamy and almost cheese-like texture and the white becomes dark jelly. What we keep asking ourselves is, how on earth has the person to ever try these first get the idea? Well, according to legend, some poor chap back in the Ming Dynasty about 500 years ago accidentally discovered duck eggs left in a pool and was desperate enough to try them. Number 3. Coxcomb. Ever seen that floppy red thing wobbling about on top of a rooster's head? You sure did. That is the coxcomb. Ever thought about putting it in your mouth though? You sure did not. It was once served as a garnish alongside many traditional French foods and is still used as a common ingredient in many Italian dishes. That comb is not only found on roosters, peasants and turkeys for example have them as well. The preparation process involves cleaning them, pricking them with a needle to squeeze out the remaining blood contained inside and finally skinning and cooking them. If you would like to try them, please head to your nearest Asian market where they seem to be quite common or ask your local chicken vendor for these very unusual bits. Number 4. Potted meat. Yes. You are surprised by the fact there is such a thing as potted meat, and rightfully so. It is not a strange foreign delicacy. It's quite affordable and we were told very common in American supermarkets. Let's have a quick check on the ingredients. Mechanically separated chicken, beef tripe, isn't that another word for cow stomachs? Partially defatted cooked beef fatty tissue, beef hearts, water, salt and less than 2% mustard, natural flavorings and so on. At this point we had two questions. How do you defat fat and why is this can suspiciously labeled with food product? Why does it have to be pointed out? You can clearly see from the picture why it's on our list. Without any further explanations on the production process, we'd like to share some quotes from the brave souls who have actually tried this product. The texture is horrendous. It's a slippery paste with nothing to sink your teeth into. Pulling back the lid lets loose an odor that punches you in the nose like a stinky fist. Only imagine you're opening the can while your head is wedged in a horse's ass. The taste was not okay. I had to eat a spoonful of peanut butter 10 minutes later to kill the toxic tingle that remained on my tongue. The combination of the potent smell, funky texture and putrid taste is enough to make even the strongest individual cry. Number 5. Maggot Cheese What you can see here is called Kazumatsu, a Pecorino cheese and Sardinian specialty made from goat's milk, but containing live maggots. The direct translation is rotten cheese. The cheese had officially been illegal because of the production process, which is hardly in line with today's food preparation guideline and sanitation rules. A few years ago, however, it was declared a traditional food and now it's legal to produce and sell it. The fermentation process starts with introducing the larvae. Over a few weeks, they hatch and start feeding. The fats in the cheese are broken down and this causes the special flavor during the ripening process. You can eat the kazumatsu with or without the maggots. Looking at the pictures, you can also choose not to eat it at all. If you choose not to remove the maggots, just be aware they can jump and you might have some flying right into your face. Safety goggles strongly recommended for trying this one out. Number 6. Surströmming is fermented Swedish herring in a can. A fermentation process of at least six months gives the lightly salted fish 
a horrible and foul smell and acidic taste. The dish is ordinarily eaten outdoors and we think that is a very wise decision since the smell of it will stick to your clothes. According to some sources, a decaying corpse is only almost as bad as smelling sewer stroming. There was even a Japanese study confirming it has one of the most putrid food smells in the world. Sometimes you will see these cans have bulged out during shipping because of the ongoing fermenting. Sewer strumming was even supplied as army rations in the Swedish army in the 17th century, but soldiers who weren't familiar with it yet plainly refused to eat it. Quoting the German food critic Wolfgang Fassbender, the biggest challenge when eating sewer strumming is to vomit only after the first bite, as opposed to before. Number 7. Kiviak Would you like to try something new and different next Christmas? Why not go for kiviak, a traditional winter dish from Greenland? You will need no more than about 500 small dead birds, traditionally orcs are used, which you then stuff into the carcass of a dead seal. Then bury it and leave it there for about a year or even longer. After the fermentation, the innards of the birds are liquid and even the bones are soft enough to be eaten. The traditional way of eating it is to bite off the bird's head and then suck out the juices inside. Just like with sewer strumming, it is usually eaten outside to prevent the homes from smelling for weeks. As disgusting as it may look, kiviak is in fact very important for some Greenlanders in order to combat vitamin deficiencies and help them survive harsh winters in their country. Number 8. If you think the thousand year old egg was the most disgusting level of egg there is, think twice. This ugly thing is called balut. It is often sold by street vendors in the Philippines or Vietnam and usually served with beer. Looking like a regular hard-boiled egg from the outside, the surprise awaits you once you crack it open. This must be done in a very gentle and skillful manner. On the inside you will find a fully intact embryo of a duck which has been developed by keeping the egg in the warm sunlight for about one to three weeks. And you will be able to see the feathers, beak, wings and everything forming. After cracking it open, you are supposed to slurp some sort of weird delicious juice right from the shell and then eat the half duck, half egg object in a few hearty bites with a tiny pinch of salt and lemon. Number 9. Bird spit. Yes, exactly. To be precise, the bird spit is made into soup which is then, obviously enough, called bird's nest soup. These adorable cave swifts make the nests from their own saliva, which then hardens into a shell in which they live. Very mean people then steer the innocent bird's houses, pour hot water over it and eat it, ruining about 40 days of work of one poor little birdie to make some salty slimy chunks for you to enjoy. It is very popular in Asia and very expensive. A bowl of this soup can cost up to $100. The soup is also believed to maintain youthfulness when eaten, speed up recovery from chronic illnesses and improve the function of the lungs and kidneys. One question is left. How desperate would you have to be to come up with the idea of eating a bird's home? Number 10. Kopi Luwak. Disgusting is always a matter of perspective. What is from our point of view is a delicacy in other places, such as the most expensive coffee in the world, Kopi Luwak. If you look at this picture and think this looks like something that was shut out by something or someone, you're not very far off. Kopi Luwak costs up to 600 US dollars per pound. It is made from coffee beans which have been eaten and shat out by these little cat-like fellas. The civets. The beans are washed and then only lightly roasted so the precious flavor of, well, the insides of a civet is not destroyed. Now with Kopi Luwak, there is another level of disgust that needs to be addressed. Due to the growing demand for this special coffee, civets are caught in the wild, confined in small barren cages and fed a diet of exclusively coffee berries, depriving them of a proper nutrition. Although they are released after several years of confinement, they aren't healthy enough anymore to survive in the wild. If you would like to support the Peter and their endeavor to improve the civet situation, we provided a link for you in the description below. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching, subscribe if you like and goodbye.